going to move back to the default configuration of Windows. Because there are many tools built within Management Studio, let's take some time to look at each one individually. The first one is Registered Servers. You'll notice that there are several types of servers we can register. The most common, of course, being the database engine, but also analysis services for BI, reporting services. You can connect to SQL Server Mobile or Integration Services servers at this point. To connect to one, use the right mouse menu to open up the context menu and say New Server Registration. I'm going to register the local server, uh, test it, yay, it's working, and save. Now that it's registered, we can start it, stop it, restart it, look at some properties. You'll notice that there is the ability to give it a registered server name and description. This can be very handy if you're registering multiple servers. If you're in an environment with 20 or 100 or even more servers, Registered Servers gives you the ability to store in one place your connection properties and give it a name that might be useful. Many shops will name their servers based upon the IP address or the Dell service code, and this allows you to give it a more meaningful name. So I'm going to give this server the server name or like a nickname of Nyack and save. You see now that it shows up as Nyack in parentheses local, and I could then select it from here and connect using New Query or Object Explorer. Even though I can open an Object Explorer here, it will not show Nyack in the name. The Nyack nickname is only used in Registered Server. Another benefit of the Registered Server is that you can import and export these lists, which is, again, very useful for DBAs who are managing hundreds of servers, for most database developers who are developing primarily on their own local machine or a development server, import and export is not going to be as useful. So closing registered servers, 